All right, in this last video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh, the body type here. Uh, and before I do that, I want to review the hotkeys. Now, they're over here as well. Uh, but, you know, if you want to just, one, the face, which is what we've been focusing on, uh, the whole body viewed from a distance, sort of a mid shot. So the legs, the look at the clothes. And number five is going to be the shoes, whatever you end up choosing. And number six is, and if you don't, you know, like as you can see, the, the hair disappears because we talked about the LODs and some of the hairs are not perfect. Uh, but whenever students are done, uh, we'll talk about presenting. But uh, the easiest way is just to do it straight from the tool. So for the body types, you have to go with what you think resembles you the most. So we're going to, I'm going to go with this one. Uh, and probably using if you don't remember the number two is is so you can see the body have a look i did say uh, take uh, full body shots to give yourself an idea and you know we have average we have short and we have tall over here so maybe you consider yourself tall so i'm going to go with uh, medium here and keep losing the hair here because of the LODs so if to prevent that just put it on LOD zero and then when you move back and forth it'll stay the same uh, I think I'm gonna go tall for me because I'm six feet tall so that seems to make most sense so I'm pretty happy with that and then scroll around uh, I didn't really talk about this but you can change the look here here I am indoors here I am outdoors and you see how the lighting changes so, you know, when you do your presentation, you can kind of consider some of these. Uh, you could even add a little bit more blur, you know, if you feel that there's, you know, it doesn't, the background is distracting you or whatever. So let's just go with studio for now. And is that the color of the light? Yeah. So I'll leave it white. I think it's just probably the smartest and easiest thing to do. Um, see, now it's being silly. I just want to go up here okay that's good enough all right so there's not a lot of clothes currently in the version that i'm presenting um so just pick what works best i'm going to put a dress shirt and i'm going to put some bottoms so i'm going to put some type of dress pants maybe this works best and you can change the color of them you know so there's that ability but there's not a lot of selection and for the shoes i'm going to put on these really cool boots and uh, again, what's the, let's go feet. Let's have a look. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, you could spend a lot more time, obviously, uh, doing that. But, uh, and then when you're ready, you're ready to present. So what we're going to do is we're going to click here to save it. So this will save it to my MetaHumans account. So that it'll be there even if your computer crashes. So there's my latest one. I'm going to click on it again. And I'll click Edit Selected. And what I want to do is rename it. So it's not Etor, but I'll call him Mark 2. Okay, so this is my second version of me. And this is the name that will be imported if you do use it in Unreal Engine. Okay, and maybe, you know, using the right mouse button, you can have a last look here before you set up. And for presentation, I would just, you know, present your model and talk about some of the things that you've done to create it. And... Um, you know, the teacher may want to create an accompaniment assignment with it. Otherwise, I would just present them like this using uh, the different numbers. You know, one, two, three, four. You could always talk about why you pick certain colors, why you pick certain styles, and, you know, the challenges you had creating it, why it, you know, sometimes it looks a little bit like you or it doesn't look like you as much as you would like. So that kind of thing is something to consider. Okay, so if you have any other questions, uh, please let me know. Otherwise, enjoy, have fun, and uh, good luck.